Hi, my name is James Porter, and today we're in the kitchen at the Team Mason in Scottsdale, Arizona. We're going to talk to you a little bit about red palm oil. Really cool stuff, high heat temperature, um, very sustainable product, and we're going to make a very simple Malaysian kind of Asian dish. It's going to be called the Petit Maison Asian Hot Pot. We're going to start, and this is something that everybody can do at home. It's really, really easy and a few simple steps. So it's kind of like the, the light Asian stew of cooking. So we're going to start off getting the pan with a little bit of the red palm oil. I like using this because, again, it has a high heat and has some nice flavor to it. The benefits of it, it's also sustainable. We're going to start off with about a teaspoon of chopped shallot and a teaspoon of garlic, and we're going to sweat those down. We don't want to add too much color to it. We don't want that caramelized flavor. We just want to sweat out the nice aromas. This dish has a lot of variables to it and a lot of different ways that you can use it. You can all use it with a lot of shellfish. If you like clams, you can just do all clams, mussels, all mussels. We're going to use a little bit of variety. We're going to also use some spider crabs, also known as soft shell crabs, a little bit of black uh, mushroom fungus, some dehydrated shrimp as a little bit of uh, extra salt uh, garnish towards the end because we're not going to try to use any salt throughout this dish and let the natural salinity from the sea flavor of it. So we've started to sweat these down. We're going to take these big clams. We're going to set these clams in here. They're going to take the longest to cook. We're also going to add some fresh scallops. We're going to let that start to sizzle together. We're going to, we're going to season throughout the process just to build the layers of flavor. Oh yeah. So now we're going to make a tamarind glaze. We're going to take the little bao buns, and we're going to do a little grilled bao bun. And this is going to act as like the bread for the dipping. And in tra traditional French cookery, they use a rui, which is a mayonnaise and roasted red pepper. We're going to actually use mayonnaise and tamarind glaze with a little bit of soy sauce for that Asian inspiration. Sometimes you have to take that tamarind, loosen it up a little bit. So we've got our nice pot. Fill with a little bit of broth. This time we're going to add some of our, our mushrooms. Gorgeous mushrooms. Nice dehydrated. They're going to add nice, nice flavor to it. If you've ever had mushroom soy before, you recognize this flavor. We're going to add a little bit of the dehydrated shrimp. Those will add some solidity. Coconut milk, that's going to add a little bit of that Malaysian twist to it as well. Right, so we've got the ginger coming. We're also going to take some lemongrass. Whenever you work with lemongrass, real simple, you just beat it. Break it up a little bit and throw it in. You don't need to chop it. If it's chopped up, you're going to end up picking it out later. This is this a lot easier to get out. We've also got some fresh kefir lime from our trees. Take a couple of those, just break them a little bit, split them, put them in there. We're going to take a little bit of our ginger, add a little bit of fresh ginger in there. And once it's, once it's ready, we're going to actually put the lid on this for a little while. We're going to let that all kind of marry together and cook. That's going to take about 10 minutes. You want to do it over a low simmer. And we're going to get our garnish ready to go here. Again, we're going to use that Malaysian palm oil. The high heat really adds to this. So we're going to get a super high heat. We've got our nice flour in here. And then we're going to do a nice little sear.
We're also going to take our bao bun, which is a very simple, traditional uh, Chinese bun. Um, and we're going to do a little grill on it. And this is where we're going to add our tamarind rui with. Vitamin A and E. You can also see that our hot pot back here. Too bad we don't have any smell of vision. But look, you you got this beautiful kefir lime. You've got your lemongrass. So here's here's the uh, here's our quick little Malaysian rui for the uh, the bao bun. We take a little bit of mayonnaise, which is traditional in making bao buns bread, I should say. Then we've got this wonderful tamar that's been reduced down. Nice and chunky. We're just going to incorporate that together. Another good use for tamar is a little bit of 7-Up. Makes a good little cola. That's going to be the coating for our shrimp, for our Bow All right, so here we're done. We got final product here. We're gonna just plate this up. This is just absolutely gorgeous. The, the flavors of Malaysia, the coconut, the kefir lime, the shrimp, the mushroom. We've got scallop, and you can see these dehydrated mushrooms have really come out. Coconuts added for a nice broth. The shrimp of, add a little bit of salinity from the ocean in there. We're going to add a little bit of broth. Then we've got our little spider crabs. A little bao bun for a little dipper. I'm going to spread a little of that rui on that bao bun. That just gives it a nice contrasting flavor against that coconut. We've added a little, little bit of chilled salad on top of that spider crab. And then the final, the piece de resistance, as we say in France, wheat. Oui.